Spawn is a battleground. Fire and thunder fills the air, and I am profiting from all of this. But how and why did this happen? You see, I am a member of an SMP, but beyond having Oceana, one of the larger bases on the server, I didn't have much. Ridiculed during most events, ganged up on by various players, and generally a background character. And while I was in the background, the most powerful players here have been getting more powerful, with them wielding custom weapons and armor. Therefore, my first step was trying to figure out how to leave my mark on this server. And I had just the idea. Create a new technology, and take over the world with it. Now, I could release it quietly, but there's no glory in that, so I thought, why not make it an event? Something grand and opulent. A world's fair, if you will. Here, not only could I show off and test my new technology, but also seize the moment and strike the server at its core. How? By taking over the spawn, of course. The veritable center of player activity that is also entirely undefended. To rule this would give Oceana a place on the content SMP. But... There's an issue. This SMP is a server of skilled modders, deadly PvPers, and close-knit alliances. To put it frank, I had none of those, so I needed some help. Enter... Will. A highly skilled modder living across from my base, he, like I, hasn't had a massive impact on the server, making him the perfect teammate for me. After much deliberation, we finally created Elysium, an alloy of copper and ancient debris. Now, one of the things you can create with Elysium, besides the Elysium block, are... Gravitators and Repulsors. Ooh, that's good. As expected, the Repulsor and Gravitator are able to push and pull, respectively, with entities in iron usually being more strongly affected than those without. But that's boring, it doesn't kill people fast enough, so we invented death lasers. Made the Elysium Prism, the newest and cruelest device we here in Oceana have made. These right here are eco-friendly, biodegradable, solar-powered death rays that are capable of dealing varying amounts of damage depending on what light source you use. Though if I ever needed to max out on damage, I'd just use a beacon. Hmm. Takes a bit. Oh, well there he goes. <sighs> well, we have a problem. What's the issue? It's not cruel enough for me to be more pain! The death ray was not unethical enough, so we ruled that making a Tesla coil would be the next worst thing. Yes, indeed. The electrode is a shocking machine, which has two modes. On its own, it deals a moderate amount of damage to multiple targets, essentially making it a shotgun. But if you attack on a lightning rod, you'll get far more precise action, with further range and higher damage, though only one target. I seemingly had everything I needed. After all, Spawn was, at the time, just a small coalition of players united solely by the fact that they lived in the same general area. With that all in mind, I got to building. Things were looking great. I had my machines, my right hand man, and in the meantime of preparing, the spawn had advanced beyond all foreseeable measure. You see, at spawn, a long term, though troublesome associate by the name of Luxentris had become a wrench in the gears. Not only had she renovated her base into a fortress city that the people of spawn could unite around, she also learned how to revive Wardens. In addition to all of this, any trust I previously had in her faded when she began to associate and side with Rat. A modder turned deadly PvPer and an untrustworthy wildcard. Any hopes of uniting the server under the banner of Oceana was seemingly dashed. Until I realized something. The target of Lux's Warden attack was Windsweep. General Madman, enemy to Rat and Lux, deadly PvPer, and a former Oceanan. I realized I needed to extend an olive branch and perhaps bring some new equipment to the table. Hello. All right, Blake. So we've seen what's going on with Market, yeah? I, I have. Well, I made a purchase. So as far as we know, Lux can revive the dead. Now I called you here because I know that you are a former Oceanan, right? Yeah. Well, that's good to hear. So, with that in mind, I need you to help me with a project. Which is? Killing people. <laughs> I thought you'd never ask. Look, I would happily help you. You don't even have to pay me. All you're gonna promise me is that I can take down Lux, that me and Lux can fight and I, I kill her. Of course I can offer you that. That's basically what I need, actually. My question is, do we invent new weapons? Blake, I'll inform you something. I 
and yeah. Will have been a bit busy. Originally, we were just going to use blocks and stuff, but I think we need full-fledged weapons and armor for this operation. Yes, <laughs> that's that. But if we stay away from market in the main assault, then we won't have to deal with this because I doubt they're going to spawn wardens around spawn, right? There's no way they'd do something like that. I have been waiting so long to get my hands ve well, very dirty, and you have given me the perfect opportunity to just let loose. With some hired help gathered, me and Will got to work, building some new and deadly equipment to be used against the SMP. Meet the Kairos Siphon, a weapon based on the Greek aka Byzantine flamethrower, capable of incinerating targets with the precision of a fine-tuned hammer. But don't overuse this though, because if you do, the Kairos Siphon will overheat, burning your hands. Things do get better though, because if you punch with it, you get a magnetic blast. Of course, if none of those attributes appeal to you, you can always opt in for more firepower. You saw that right, because with the gasoline enchant, you'll be able to slug out high explosive fireballs, which you can projectile boost for extra damage. If one desires a more refined incineration, we've introduced the jet enchantment, which allows you to shoot a concentrated beam of fire. This beam does higher damage, however, it does overheat quicker. And if you're not sold yet, you can order like this, making you a certified cold mother As a final implement of war, we created Elysium Armor, a new and offense-oriented set. When equipped, players will build up a charge as they take damage. And, if they have enough of this charge, they can unleash it by hitting other players. This shock beyond being cool as hell also applies the voltage effect, which makes its targets vulnerable to incoming damage. But you don't need to be a masochist to build charge, as electrodes can do that for you. Finally, my weapons were ready, my theme park was completed, and all I needed to do was bring some people there to... Partake in it. If you're enjoying the video so far and want to see more of them, like it, subscribe, and turn on notifications. It helps the channel out a lot. Alright, back to the production. What? I can't hear you! Okay, anyways. Yes, <laughs> Alright! <laughs> Make way for civilization, it's called Oceana! Could've just built this place in Oceana. Well... I'm one for cool localities, okay? I found the most exotic tropical paradise and I completely deforested it to make a cool theme park. Oh, damn. in the back room. Alright, so, set your spawns here. Oh, yeah. Welcome oh, to the hotel. Wait, Why are we in the bathrooms? There isn't gonna be any sort of military coup or anything here, is there? What? After some disorganized organizing, I managed to get the Continentals to the World's Fair. And no World's Fair is complete without some mini games. This is Quickshot, a PvP minigame of my making, and a perfect distraction for the players. Play the song! What? How am I supposed to get that? <laughs> the goal here is to give your enemy the glowing status effect before they can, the twist being that the battlefield is also full of lasers. Trouble, however, reared its head once more, as Lux tried to claim ownership to the concept of Quickshot. So we, as anyone would, dueled over it. Alright, three, two, one, go! Wait, ah, uh, the- Lux, you can do this! Come on! Go, Lux! <gasps> oh, this no, is my last arrow, oh, goddammit. Go. Do we both own the idea then? I think so. <laughs> Shake hands? Yeah, Shake sure. Hands? Yeah. Alright. <laughs> yeah. The world's fair continued, and as a way of getting people smoothly transitioned into the idea of getting their homes invaded, I gave them a little battle royale. Alright. As to prevent uh, the death of our beloved Catalians, I'm going to offer you one melon as regeneration. Turns out, Bantu <laughs> snuck a Gundam into the server. No, oh, <laughs> something a bit more advanced. Oh, what the hell? oh my god, what the? What the? Yes. Oh, oh, what the heck? What the heck? <laughs> The Electrode, also known as Elysium Waste Disposal what? and Defense Unit, can be used to charge up Elysium Armor. And there oh. is one rule. Oh. You are against the wall. And I'm the wall! Never get run! Why does this happen every time? What am I supposed to do? Uh, These are all empty. <laughs> What? Turns out a great deal of the chests around the battlefield were completely empty, though that didn't stop some from 
making do. Not very fair, I don't have anything. <laughs> Ow, what are you doing? I'm disqualified, leave me. This, I, I love the room with rats. And rats are oh, crazy. Oh, oh, crazy. Oh, no, I was on. crazy once. They're coming oh, in a room. A rubber room. Oh, a rubber room with rats. Yeah, Amy, I'm gonna kill you now. Woo! I love opening fire! This is fun! Oh, well, I'm gonna start shooting one of you. <laughs> Whoever survives it, wins. Ow. Boom. Is the I fight still it. going? Oh my god. Oh. oh. Ha. Huh. Well, he's dead. It was a bit of a disaster, but I made sure what came next was not. The results of our first combat test were not exactly conclusive. After all, it's just a test, not a live fire or a war game, if you will. So I've given you an operation. Defend spawn. Huh? You heard me? What? Okay. <clears throat> the following mercenaries include me, Will, Nox Intress, and I've hired another one, Windsweep. Reveal yourself. You, 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 I up. <laughs> hey guys. Hey Blake. Hey, you did what? Work. What the <laughs> hell? Oh my God. Bro. Uh, yeah. Not many can match what? his expertise. Hmm? Rats. Rats. We'll get to that. Hey, we'll get guys. to that. We need to get to our planning area. Now. Dad, so I'm not sure this is a war game. I think this is a war. Why'd you bring him here? Well, we have our history. Blake was one of my men, after all. Yeah. And now he's a maniac. Yes? I wouldn't say that. Either way, he's certainly much more trustable than the maniac you choose to side with. You have much to say, Lux. What do you mean? Rats changed, alright? He's not nearly as bad he as him. He changed? <laughs> you didn't say that to me! Changed my <laughs> like Diane Sue. The exact same mm. Diane Sue, I have one Physically question. And yes. What is the sentence for traitors? Traitors? What do you mean by that? Oh. If you guys you. win this war game, what happens to people like Ashton? Execution. <laughs> now that is more okay, like Anzu, it. What if we win? What? what if you win? Well, that's where it can get started. You see, if the Continentals can survive an Oceanian assault, well then, you'll want some Elysium on me. And also, a coupon to your favorite restaurant. And all of this will just be water under the bridge. So can we like, this is a cool. go there and make sure you don't take it now? That yes, you have, uh, 20 minutes. Now go. Alright, let's go. Oh shoot, okay, I gotta protect my van. The arrival of the player known as Freak to our cause was entirely unexpected. However, we did manage to gather supplies for all of us. We stationed ourselves at the ruins of Blake's old base. And waited. Oh my god. Have amethyst bombs. Yutsu Talon. Oh. Oh. Uh, Lux? Check, please. Okay, guys. Guys, it's been an honor. It has been an honor. It will be a victory. Wait, we just get ready with the other portal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna check out the bloodshed portal. I'll be here. Oh. Walk us down there, Dancy. Walk us down there. Hmm. Wait, what? Oh, they're coming from the mountains! Ah! Sound the words! Why? Wait, freak, why are you with them? Kill them all! Oh, so Look, it's for the good of us. It's for the well, good oh, yeah, us. sure. Oh my god. I see how it is. I humiliate you once and then you immediately. <laughs> no, more than Actually, a no, it's <laughs> Die. Join you guys! <laughs> I should have seen this coming from you. You are the most maniacal Imperials I've ever seen. Come board. What are you saying? Oh my god! My health bar! 
it! What the <laughs> Freak, don't you dare get back in here. I'll kill you again and again. You're great at killing I loved ones, Lux. No, no, no! It's my own private domicile and I will not be harassed! Burn. Oh my god. No! <laughs> no! Oh. No! You can't make it believe you got the game! Ah, oh, yeah! Cheers! Boom stage, yes, boom stage, boom stage. Ready? Is this a victory? Is this a victory? Yes. <laughs> what a rush! Indeed. After so much time in the shadows, Oceana can finally shine as the Empire it deserves to be, as the banner flies high over the server. One could say I have reached my zenith. The peak of the mountain, if you will. Yet I have one question to ask. When you reach the top of the mountain, where else can you go?